Okay, so in this question here, express 750 as a product of prime numbers in index form. Now, there's two ways of doing this, okay? Perhaps I'll show you both ways, all right? Um, there's the ladder method and there's the tree method, okay? And it's up to you which method you, you, you go for, right? With large numbers, sometimes the ladder method's better, but it's your choice, okay? Whichever you're most comfortable with. Now, if I start with the ladder method here, 750, all right? And basically, what you do is, you are going to try, going to attempt to um, look at prime factors of this, right? So if you think of your prime numbers now, right? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Those are the first few there, right? Those are the ones we need to remember, most important ones. And these are prime, of course, because they've got exactly two factors, haven't they? You know, only one and itself can go into it. No other numbers will go into it. One isn't prime, because... So one's only got one factor. Prime has got exactly two factors. Now when you see 750, straight away, I'm thinking two. Okay, two, because it's even, ends in a zero. So what you do then is, you do like the bus stop method, but upside down. So two into seven goes three times. And of course that, that gives me six. There's one left over, so I write that there. Two into 15 then goes seven times. Okay, but two times seven is 14, so there's one left over. And two into 10 then goes five times. Exactly, right, 375. So then I'm left with that number, and now I gotta look what prime number goes into here. And, you know, I'm thinking now, I'm not thinking two anymore, because it's odd, I'm thinking five. Five into 37, right, it doesn't go into three, doesn't it? So five into 37 goes seven times. And seven times five is 35, so there's a range of two. And 5 into 25 goes 5 times, so that's 75. Again, I'm thinking now, right, um, what goes into 75? Well, 5 goes into it. 5 goes into 7 once, which remains a 2. And then 5 into 25 goes 5 times, so you've got 15. So now I'm thinking, okay, what goes into 15? Well, 5 again. 5 into 15 goes 3 times. We're almost that me. And then, of course, 3 goes into 3 once. And when you've got 1 at the bottom, you're done, right? And the answer then will be, because it wants it in index form, you've got to put it in order, 2 times 3 times. Now, I could write 5 times 5 times 5 if I want to, but because I want it in index form, I'm going to just sort of put it as that straight away, okay? But they are multiplied together. 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 5. Put them in order. Of course, put them as powers because they want them in index form. If you did the bus stop, if you did the tree method, right, you start off with 750, okay, and it, you, you, similar method to this, but you, again, you think of a prime number that goes into it, 2, okay, and then 2 times what? Well, we established over here, wasn't it, 2 times 375, so you'd circle the 2, okay, because 2 is a prime, 375 isn't, so you go from there then, 5, yeah, okay, as we worked out over here, 75 times 5 is prime, so we circle it, 75, well, 5, yeah, goes into it 15 times, circle that, okay, 15 then, 3, 5, you circle them both. Those of you that are used to this method would have understood that approach then, right? So once they're all circled, you've got your answer, okay? But if you're used to the ladder method, stick to the ladder method, okay? Because it's helpful when it comes to dividing. That's your answer. Part B then, it says, write down the least positive and whole number, that's 750 must be multiplied by to make the result a perfect square. Now, for it to be a perfect square, when you look at its prime factorization here, all the powers must be even, right? It's so important to remember that. All the powers must be even. Now, in this case, none of them are even, aren't they? That one isn't even, because it's power one, that's power one, so that's not even, and that's power three, that's not even. So in order to make the powers even, you're gonna to have to multiply them by those numbers again. So for instance, if I times this by, if I times this by two, I'd get two squared, wouldn't I? And if I times it by three, by three there, I'd get three squared. And if I times it by five, I'd get five to the power four, right? It's all about making the powers even. Once the powers are all even, get your answer. Now, unfortunately, they were all odd. So I had to times by each of these here to make them all even. So it says then what must be multiplied by? Well, it's all of this. So 2 times 3 times 5. 2 times 3 is 6 times 5, 30. Okay, 30. This bit can be challenging, but, you know, we should be trying to get marks, especially in part A here.